Hierarchy and Property by Eric Schechter For 10,000 years we've accepted hierarchy and property as normal. We can barely imagine life without them. Wake up. They're the cause of bullying, war, poverty, ecocide, etc. All our problems. Hierarchy, including so-called representative government, concentrates power and authority. That corrupts, as the Stanford Prison Experiment proved. We see it all around us. Authoritarians beat their families. Bosses bully workers. Police shoot the poor. Rulers lie to start wars to extend rule. And corporate news repeats the lies. Property gets concentrated, too. Trade favors the trader in the stronger bargaining position, making him stronger still, increasing inequality, creating poverty and plutocracy. To end rule by the wealthy class, we need to not have a wealthy class. That requires a different economic system. Markets ignore side effects. For instance, oil's buyer and seller don't pay for climate change. Privately owned workplaces are dictatorships. That's why we hate Mondays. Competition kills empathy, producing racists, sexists, and other bullies. Property separates and alienates us. Madmen stalk our streets with ever worse weapons. We'll only be safe in a caring society that leaves no one behind, so no one wants to hurt us. Hierarchy and property feed each other. They must be ended together, replaced by egalitarianism and sharing. Culture change can't be forced but might be inspired. If not now, when? Let's talk. You can read more at leftymathprof.org.